All right, guys, as the cryptocurrency market crashes, and we're probably going to go down to $12,000 at some point, I think most people would agree that's probably going to be around the bottom for Bitcoin. We've seen uh, BlockFi collapse, Celsius collapse, FTX collapse, Sam Bankman free collapse. Um, we've pretty much seen everything collapse. <laughs> uh, you know, 80% of what we thought was good in crypto has pretty much collapsed. And if you're new to crypto, you're probably saying to yourself, well, does anybody know what the hell they're talking about as far as YouTube influencers or just people in general about what's going to happen with, with Bitcoin? Has anybody been right over the last three or four years with crypto? Or is everybody just talking out of their ass? Unfortunately, 99% of the people are, are talking out of their ass, uh, including some big YouTubers who I'm going to talk about in a second. But I've been in crypto since 2017. I've followed everybody from BitBoy to Datadash to Cryptos R Us. Um, the Peter McCormick, to, uh, I mean, you name it. Um, you know, the XRP YouTubers, uh, Digital Asset Investor, Alex Cobb um, was a big one when I first got into crypto in 2017. Every crypto YouTuber I probably followed trying to figure out who knows, who has a grasp on this market. Almost all of them do not. Um, I can tell you that right off the bat. And most of them will basically just take money to show you projects or they'll basically just give you bad advice. Now, Giving bad advice is fine because, you know, nobody really knows what's going to happen. Nobody has a crystal ball. But some people have been spot on with their crypto predictions. And there's two people that I can tell you for 100% who have been spot on with their, with their crypto predictions since, since 2017. They've called the market tops. They've called the market bottoms. They pretty much predicted everything that's going to happen in the last couple of years with crypto. Um, when I first got into crypto, Richard Hart, I thought was a scammer, didn't know much about him. He just seemed like a flamboyant guy. Turns out he's been right about everything. Here's a little snippet of Richard Hart. Basically, the guy's been tell telling people, don't use exchanges, don't use BlockFi, don't use Celsius. Um, you know, he basically called Alex essentially a scammer to his face. Um, he's been warning people not to listen to YouTubers or shilling all these scams and exchanges like Bybit and Leverage. The guy's been spot on, 100%. Get one of these big run-ups, which by the way is usually following by a crash, which I think we are due for the rest of the crash. We're already down half. I think we'll go down another 75% to an 85% total drop. Wait, Nobody for, else for thinks that. 80% 80, 80 total drop for what? I Richard? think Bitcoin will tap $10,000 from its high of 65,000 because that's okay. what it normally does. It drops 85%. Ethereum usually drops 95% because it has lower liquidity. So it acts like a leverage position on Bitcoin to some degree. Well, so this, Bitcoin runs people, up, ETH runs up higher. The people, in the, the people in the Bitcoin ecosystem tell me, look, uh, Bitcoin is unlikely to, to, to do what it has been doing in the past uh, couple of cycles, which is drop 80% precisely because new institutional money have already been, have already been uh, placed in uh, mm -hmm. the Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin ecosystem. Institutional investors now with more money are, are, are likely to uh, are likely to make the coin less volatile, so to speak. It's not How true. Would you respond to that. They're wrong, and I'm right. <laughs> yes, Richard Hart, you were wrong, or they were wrong, and you were right. So 100% spot on. He called this when Bitcoin was like sixty thousand dollars. He basically told everybody, folks, uh, we're at a top. We're going to be going down to twelve to ten thousand dollars. I mean, not many people called this a year a year ago, folks. He's one of the few people that called it a year ago. And here's a little bit more from Richard Clip, uh, Richard Hart. About Celsius and BlockFi, they suck giant, massive balls. You give up your coins to make a little baby return, a little baby single percent return. Not single percent, but single digit. You are the reason idiots that give up your coins that give up your private keys to get a little you're picking up pennies in front of freight trains and then your ass gets run over how many times does everyone have to lose their money company called cred you give them your private keys they lend those coins out they say they're going to pay you interest and bankrupt bankrupt you lost all your money oopsie oh how'd that happen well satoshi invented bitcoin to get rid of counterparty risk so your dumb ass goes and finds a counterparty to give your keys to and lose all your money Good job. Now, this was made a year ago before BlockFi, Celsius, or any of these exchanges collapsed. He called it all. So, I mean, <laughs> I would say Richard Hart is almost like a prophet in the uh, crypto community. The guy hasn't been wrong about everything. And that actually, I picked up a few hundred dollars of hex last month because 
This guy's just been right and he hasn't scammed anybody. His predictions have been spot on. Even if the guy is spawn of Satan, he's been completely right on. So I follow Richard Hart. That's who I'm following. <laughs> uh, that's who I've been following for the last six months, by the way. And my YouTube channel, actually, most of my predictions on my YouTube channel with Luna, UST, predicting FTX and all that stuff have pretty much been uh, been spot on. So, you know, I think um, I think it's good to actually, you know, follow somebody who's been right, not somebody who's just basically out there to show you hopium. And that's one reason people don't like Richard Hart is because he's flamboyant and he speaks the truth. All right, so another guy who's been spot on um, is Gareth Soloway. Gareth Soloway is a, a guy I've been following, you know, for a while. Um, he uh, He's an analyst. He does a lot of stocks, but he's basically been doing crypto for the last couple years or last year. And he basically predicted the Bitcoin top. And he basically has been saying for the last year, we're going down to 12K. And he's been calling this for the last year. Um, he has a trading channel. If you followed it, you made a lot of money. The guy's been spot on, basically just like Richard Hart. Hey guys, welcome back. Now, as I was saying at the beginning of this video, trader Gareth Soloway made an interesting prediction and also a projection on Bitcoin. And he said the worst case scenario for Bitcoin could be 12,000, this level you're seeing down here. The question is, is he right? So let me play for you, first of all, the clip of, in fact, this particular interview clip with Gareth Soloway. Let me also say at the beginning that I respect Gareth. I think he's a great guy. In fact, philosophically, he and I agree on a number of different things. So, in fact, he's a technicals guy, which I like about him. Okay, I'm going to play the short clip of this interview where he makes this interesting prediction, and we'll come back. The other thing that I'd love to show you guys is 20,000 is the high end of my target. The low end is actually down at 12,000. And the way I'm getting that 12,000 target, if I make this chart here uh, zoom out properly is basically if you look at this move down from 69,000 to 33,000 that's a basically a vertical drop of $33,000 and if you take this high here at 48 and drop that same 33,000 down which is what's called a measured move in technical analysis you get $12,000 and what's even more fascinating is that if you look at previous cycles like 2017 when it topped out until the, till the end of the bear market in 2013 Bitcoin corrected 80 to 85 percent well guess where 80 to 85 percent is it's right around 12,000 so 20,000 is my high end and 12,000 would be my worst case scenario correct and he, he's been saying this all year I've been following Gareth Soloway for the last at least minimal year and he's been saying this, and I didn't even believe it. I'm like, there's no way we're going down to ten, twelve thousand dollars. When this is when Bitcoin was like sixty thousand dollars, the guy's been spot on. Um, he made some bad calls when he was trading Luna, <laughs> where he tried to trade Luna and uh, it didn't work out for him. But for the most part, especially his calls with Bitcoin, I mean, you got to follow this guy. I mean, I really truly believe if you follow uh, Gareth Soloway and Richard Rahart. You're going to do very, very well in crypto. These guys have been spot on, and I can't say it enough. And I wish I followed them more over the last couple of years. Okay, now they're not, these guys aren't really YouTubers. They always get interviewed. But as far as YouTubers, you know, are there any? Are there any that have given good advice over the years? Not really. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, here's the, here's the top YouTubers right here. Uh, BitBoy Crypto, he spent the first, he spent, he basically spent between 2018 and 2020 just promoting scam tokens and getting everybody wrecked. The guys had far more wrong calls than good. I just played a video on my previous channel of him telling everybody to buy FTX last year and that Sam Bakeman Free is a god. Of course, for the last three months, he hasn't liked Sam Bakeman Freed, but a year ago, he loved him. So the guy's been all over the map. Um, he says a, a million different things. He's taken millions of dollars to promote scams. He doesn't do it anymore as far as the promoting scams, but he is back to doing trading competitions on his, on his website. Um, highly entertaining, but he's definitely cost people millions and millions of dollars. This is the one YouTuber I would recommend uh, as far as just giving good advice. Doesn't shill anything, doesn't promote anything, just gives educational videos on crypto, Coin Bureau. Uh, highly recommend Coin Bureau. The other guys are entertainment, but don't listen to a word they say. Cure, Coin Bureau will give you some good information. Benjamin Cohen is also good. He's a former mathematician analyst. He doesn't shill anything. He's basically just giving his price predictions um, from a brainiac kind of perspective. I like I like Benjamin Cohen. So Coin Coin Bureau and Benjamin Cohen for YouTubers, they get an A plus in my book. Cryptos R Us. I find Cryptos R Us to be entertaining. 
I like him as a person. I um, I know he's very popular among people, but he spent the last year promoting Block 5, Voyager, Celsius. If you look at the bottom of his screen over the last year, he is promoting you every scam exchange in the book. The guy is money hungry. He's only in it for the money. Um, I also all, He's also a perma bull, so he's always going to be bullish no matter what. He, I think his calls have been pretty much wrong i mean over the last couple of years um he's horrible at spotting bear markets i mean i i've been following crypto Zora since 2018 about there 2018 2019 the guy had no clue i mean he was he was calling for twenty thousand dollar bitcoin when we were dumping down to three thousand dollars just a permable um he gets views by basically giving people the hopium but the thing that pisses me off about crypto Zora is promoting all the scams over the last year he was a big promoter of ust in fact he supposedly lost a couple hundred thousand dollars in UST. Obvious scam UST. He was a big promoter of Uniluna, and like I said, BlockFi, he advertised BlockFi all over his channel. But, you know, he doesn't do it anymore, but of course all that stuff has already crashed. So while he seems like a nice guy and he seems like entertaining, I mean, if you follow this guy, you're in the gutter. You're absolutely in the gutter. Does he give some good, good advice, like keeping your coins on a hardware wallet? Okay, but a monkey can tell you that. Okay, so I would have to give him a C minus. A C minus cryptos are us. Don't know who this guy is. Uh, he must be. I have no idea who that guy is. Data Dash. Over the last year, I'd say Data Dash has given good information. He's had some right calls. Um, he basically has been saying for the last couple of months we were gonna we were gonna crash and probably go down to twelve k. Um, but I do believe in the past he was caught uh, doing sponsorships on his uh, channel and not disclosing them and. and and uh, promoting tokens and things like that. He doesn't do it anymore, but I can tell you over the last year, his calls have been pretty good. He puts out good educational videos. He doesn't promote leverage. I would have to give him a B minus, a B minus for Data Dash. Ivan on tech, I don't know much about him. He does talk more about just tech and he does interviews. He doesn't seem to show all that much. I give him a B plus as well. Meet Kevin, he doesn't really do primarily crypto. He does pretty much everything. Um, entertaining, I don't, you know, I give him, you know, I don't really know as much about him as some of the other YouTubers, but as long as he's not shilling tokens and, and scams, which I don't think he is, and again, he's not even mostly crypto. He talks about other stuff too. So for entertainment purposes, I give him a B minus. All right, Crypto Lark. I find him to be a complete scumbag. I mean, there's just a story about him a couple months ago about he was promoting tokens and then dumping them on people. The guy is a big, big buy bit shill. Um, he's based out of like South, South Africa or, um, no, not South Africa, uh, somewhere in like Australia or something like that. I find him to be a complete shill. I started watching him when he was called the Crypto Lark in 2018. Nothing but shilling tokens on people, nothing but dumping on people. Um, I think he is a wolf in sheep's clothing. He's trying to come off as a legitimate investor guy, but I think he's like a used, the used car salesman of the crypto space. I give him an F minus, F minus. And that's pretty much it, folks. I know there's a lot of other YouTubers, but... To keep it simple, Gareth Soloway, Richard Hart, as far as uh, people who are just analysts to listen to and YouTubers, and the main YouTubers who you basically do videos every day, Coin Bureau and who is the other one? I can't really remember it. Coin Bureau and Benjamin Cohen. So there, that's four people I recommend. If you follow those people, I think you're going to do very, very well with crypto. Richard Hart, Gareth Soloway. And am I even on the right page? Yep. And of course, Benjamin Cohen right here and Coin Bureau. So that's it, folks. Uh, I know it's a crazy day. I know the markets are absolutely insane. Folks, I've been through this. I got to tell you guys, I've been in crypto for a while. Uh, this is <laughs> the worst feeling I ever had in crypto was watching my portfolio go from like $10,000 to $2,000 during the COVID dump. And I couldn't even like get up off the chair. I was like paralyzed. But I've learned a lot since then. If I had only bought more during that dump, I'd be completely retired right now. So I learned I'm not going to make that mistake this bull run. I even had a conversation with myself last year. I said, you know what? Bitcoin is $60,000. But when we go into that bear market, it's going to be nasty. And I'm not going to want to buy anything. And everybody's going to be telling me I'm, I'm an idiot. And all the news is going to be negative. Am I going to be able to buy during that time? And I just smacked myself in the face. And I said, you know what, Mike? You have to. You have to, because you've already lived through this once. You've already made mistakes. Don't make those same mistakes. You have to buy when the herd is telling you it's all over. And that's what I'm going to do. So I made some buys yesterday, and I'm looking for another buy at 14000 for Bitcoin. And I want to get my Cardano under uh, $0.25 cents and my Theta under $0.85. Cents, and I'm, that's my plan, and I'm sticking to it. 
If it doesn't work out in 2024, it doesn't, but I fully expect 2024, I'll be, uh, I'll be celebrating. I'll be celebrating. And if you guys want to join me, that's fine too. Uh, if you're, if you don't want to, if you just want to watch my channel for entertainment purposes, that's fine too. I mean, you don't have to do anything I say. This is for me. I mean, I'm just a guy on the internet, but this is what I'm doing. All right. Like, and subscribe. Have a good day.